whoa, 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 whoa. I never knew a day will come where I'm saying, well done to Manchester City, winning the Champions League. As a Liverpool supporter, you have to give credit where it due. You have to give credit to greatness. And Manchester City has done something great for the last six to seven years. Winning the Champions League by beating Inter Milan by one goes to nil. My goodness. And let me tell you say, something. Big up to all the Manchester City fans out there. Big up to everybody that play a part. Players, Pep Guardiola, it looking fantastic. It looking great. Emotionally, looking at Pep Guardiola and the old Manchester City. This stopping. Not winning the Champions League for a couple of years. Well, no. Stopping them from being that great team. Yeah? They dominate in England. And now they have won the Champions League. So they accomplish everything. They will win the Super Cup. They will win the Club World Cup. They will go on and win many, many more trophies. And that's just the truth. And as a Liverpool supporter, I wish I never win one or two more out of the Premier League title. But it's all about Manchester City here. Yeah? It's all about Manchester City. Big up to Manchester City to win the, tri um, the, the treble. They deserve it. They have been hunted down. And I know a lot of banter. Liverpool fans, ever fans, saying that City fans are plastic. You know, they're not winning the Champions League. You know what I mean? They, they finally, they finally did it. They finally did it. And they beat up Real Madrid badly in that semi-final. And Inter Milan play well. Inter Milan play very, very well. But it's just unfortunate that Manchester City find the only goal. Yeah? And it was a very good goal by Raji. Very good goal by Raji. But that's how football goes. You win some, you lose some. And I'm going to be honest, when Kevin De Bruyne come off, I said... Oh, City not will win this Champions League. Oh, City cannot play good without Kevin De Bruyne. But they show the world that, hey, we can do without Kevin De Bruyne. And big up to Erling Nolan, big up to Phil Foden, big up to Bernardo Silva. I want to big up Bernardo Silva. I don't get a lot of credit, don't score a lot of goal, but he's a true professional player. So I want to big up Bernardo Silva. Yeah, I want to big up Stone. Have a very good season this year in the in the in the in the midfield. I want to big up the Ake playing um, left side in centre back. I think they deserve it. I think Manchester City deserve it, and I want to big up big up to everybody. The banter is over for Manchester City. I think they are a great team. I think they are one of the greatest team ever to play in the Premier League. They done it. Only thing they have to do is win the Champions League. That's the only thing that's missing from them. They win the Carabao Cup. They win the FA Cup. They win three Premier League. Three. You know, it, it's not easy to win three Premier League, you know. And they win it convincing. Yeah. So, kudos to Manchester City. They deserve it. Let's see what's going to happen next season. But with the money, with the talent... I think Manchester City going to be to continue dominant. Finally, finally, finally winning the Champions League. It hurt as a Liverpool supporter. No matter how you see me, I play it down. It hurt because, you know, you want to have the look of banter against the City team. But you have to just watch greatness. When a team is great, when a team is good, you have to just watch it. And for all of the fans, you must say, oh, the Champions League final, nobody don't really have to talk about it. Only stop it. Not because your team not did it. Only say the Champions League are joke this year. Come on, people, man. Sure, class team, respect, man. And that's what. I know a lot of people will in them feelings, but I will not in my feelings. As a Liverpool supporter, enjoy greatness. When Liverpool and Jurgen Club were doing great, I think everybody happy for us. And I think Manchester City deserve to get all the credit. Yeah, they has been the best team in Manchester. I think they're going to continue.
in Damina. Pep Guardiola, I don't think he will leave England for now, right now. The money that City have right now, my goodness. What if Jurgen Klopp and this Liverpool team never had challenge the City team? They that want the Premier League every single year. Arsenal get the Premier League for win this year and then Buckley, big time. Yeah? But early now and mount a record, you know, to score over 60 goals this season in our competition. They're just great, Bridget. They're just great. Rodri, they were just great, man. You have to give Manchester City them credit. You have to give Manchester City them flowers. You understand? Interesting time coming. For all the team in England, both my team Liverpool signed in player from left to right. That show you that we are behind and you know, watching the TV right now, seeing the Manchester City players them celebrating. It's just great. People, if you read so far in the video, why not subscribe? Why not hit the like button? Kudos to Manchester City. They deserve to win the Champions League. Football fans, stop being naive and stop being a hater. Show respect to greatness. They are great. They has done it. They has done it. They are done it. Kevin De Bruyne. They are done it, people. Give them them flowers. Give them them credit. Special shout out to Dominic Rich. Cause two years ago, me and my good friend Dominic Rich, he's a Manchester City fan. And he followed with me and him because pressuring him to see Chelsea, not them, winning the Champions League. You know what I mean? It's just great to see a good Champions League game. Not the greatest game. But it was a good one to watch. And so unfortunate that Inter Milan didn't score. Because I think they create the opportunity. Not much. But they create some look half chances where they should have do better. Lukaku. They should have do better in front of goal. But that's just life. That's just sports. You win some. You score some. You miss some. And <sighs> I don't know if I'm going to sleep well as a Liverpool supporter. I can tell you that. You know what I mean? But. I have nothing to worry about. I have nothing to grudge Manchester City. Liverpool have six Champions League and 19 Premier League titles. So, they have a long way to go, but do not sleep on them. A team that have money, that hungry for success, they will continue pushing on and pushing on and pushing on and pushing on. You understand? But, you know, if Pep leave, it's probably going to be a different thing, but... Who knows what's going to happen, viewers and subscribers. So, people, hit the like button. Manchester City has won their first ever Champions League 2023. I want to tell you, 12 years ago when Chelsea win it, or 11 years ago, Chelsea, um, they become the second team now. Manchester City are the second team now for God knows how long to win the Champions League. But big up to all the past legend them for Manchester City. You know what I mean? Uno play on a part. You know, Richard, um, Richard Ake Anderson, on field, Kuna Greer, all of these players, David Silva, Yaya Torre, people, you have to just give greatness. Give greatness, and they deserve it. They win it. You know what I mean? But, people, as a Liverpool supporter, I'm telling you, man. But, it's what it is, man. But, let's see what's going to happen next season. Big up to Manchester City. Really do appreciate it. And thing people leave your thought down in the comment section. Hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Jamie Carey guys just looking, but I don't know, man. But City win the Champions League. My days, man. Big up to everybody down in the comment section.